Today we're going to turn our spotlight to a man who literally electrified the world. A man who was part scientist, part inventor, and some say part mad genius. We speak, of course, of none other than Nikola Tesla. In this episode, we're going to venture into Tesla's mind and world, exploring not one, not two, but five incredible things that he invented. From wireless technology to proto x-rays, we'll delve into the full genius of his discoveries and have a look at how they continue to impact our daily lives even over a century later. Born in 1856, Tesla was a Serbian-American inventor, engineer, and physicist who made his name during the Second Industrial Revolution. His journey towards the invention of the alternating current, AC, began in 1881 when he started working for the Central Telegraph Office in Budapest. Here, the concept of a rotating magnetic field, a critical component for AC, occurred to him. Tesla then joined Continental Edison Company in Paris in 1882, where he designed and built dynamos and electric motors. This further fueled his interest in rotating magnetic fields and their potential use in AC electronics. Then, in 1887 and 1888, while in the United States, Tesla decided to put his money where his mouth was and secured patents for a system of AC generators, transformers, motors, wires, and lights. It was a revolutionary development that stood to redefine electrical supply. But just what is AC, and how does it work? Well, put simply, it operates on the principle of changing or alternating the direction of electric current at regular intervals. This is unlike direct current, or DC, where the electrical charge flows in one direction. According to Tesla, AC electricity had a number of potential advantages, with the two main being that it was supposed to be easier to generate and also excellent for long-range transmission with minimal energy loss. AC also made it possible to change the voltage of electricity using a transformer, allowing for easy modulation according to the specific requirements of an application or the distance of transmission. If you want to know why this is a big deal, imagine the disastrous consequences of plugging your Xbox straight into a pylon and you probably get the idea. <laughs> if you're anything like me, you've probably spent way too much time searching for your wallet or keys. <laughs> Basically every day. How do you know it, Ridge? Today's sponsor. Well, hold on to your seats because I've got something that's going to make your whole life a lot easier, smarter, and snazzier. Now imagine this. Your wallets and keys always together, always easy to find, thanks to Ridge. They hold up to 12 cards plus cash and they stay sleek and stylish. No more giant bulge on your ass from that old dad wallet you've had since you were 18. Plus they come in 30 different styles, so loads to choose from. This is just black, like I said, burnt titanium. There's also carbon fiber. There are RFID blocking, so you can't be the victim of a digital pickpocket. And air tag attachments, like I say, this one on the back here. So you pop the air tag in there, no worries, easy to go and it's this cool carbon fiber look, which is nice. They've also got this, which is their air tag cash strap. And of course, don't forget the Ridge key case, which is just a better way to hold your keys. No more jangling around. It's just like a Swiss army knife for your keys. Brilliant. Plus, if you buy the key case and the wallet together, you can get up to 30% off. And here's another scoop. You could get a brand new Hennessy Ford Bronco Velociraptor or a whopping $75,000 in cash. You don't even have to spend a dime to enter. Every dollar you spend on Ridge's amazing products gives you bonus entries. Custom Hennessy products like this beautiful wallet come with up to a thousand extra entries. And if you use my link, ridge.com slash side projects and enter code side projects at checkout, you'll get a sweet 10% off and 10 bonus entries. So that's nice. Thanks to Ridge for sponsoring. And now today's video. It's hard to overstate the impact of AC, which is by far and away the most significant of any of Tesla's inventions. It set off a war of the currents with Thomas Edison, a staunch proponent of direct current. Tesla's AC eventually triumphed over Edison's DC for large-scale long-distance power transmission because of its ability to change voltages and its superior efficiency. Today, it powers our homes, businesses, and our industries, running everything from the smallest gadgets to the largest machines. In essence, modern electricity supply as we know it, would not exist without Tesla's groundbreaking work on alternating current. Moreover, Tesla's AC motor has enabled the development of an entire array of appliances that make our lives easier and more convenient, from refrigerators to air conditioners, from electric fans to washing machines. All of these devices employ AC motors. And on the human level, the development of AC power is not just a scientific and technological triumph, but it's also a testament to Tesla's resilience and determination. Despite being initially outshone by Edison's DC, Tesla's perseverance and unwavering belief in the superiority of his system eventually won the day, securing his invention a vital position as a keystone of modern electrical infrastructure. 
Our next invention of Teslas needs no introduction, or maybe it does. Because while you've all no doubt heard of the Tesla coil, how many of you know what actually it was supposed to do? The story of the Tesla coil begins in the 19th century, following Tesla's successful introduction of the alternating current system. Tesla's insatiable curiosity and unrelenting quest for knowledge led him to delve deeper into the mysteries of electricity. He was particularly interested in harnessing the power of resonant frequency to transmit electricity wirelessly. In 1891, this curiosity finally bore fruit with the invention of the Tesla coil, a device capable of producing high voltage, low current, and high frequency alternating current electricity that could be transmitted wirelessly. The Tesla coil, in essence, is an electrical resonant transformer circuit. It operates by means of two coupled resonant electric circuits. The primary coil, energized by a source of alternating current, produces a magnetic field that oscillates at the frequency of the AC supply. This varying magnetic field induces a very high voltage in the secondary coil through the phenomenon of electromagnetic induction. One of the fascinating aspects of the Tesla coil is its ability to generate extremely high voltages, creating spectacular electrical discharges in the form of dramatic arc-like sparks. This characteristic made the Tesla coil a staple of public demonstrations of electrical phenomena in science exhibitions and popular entertainment, further cementing Tesla's reputation as a showman and a genius. The Tesla coil's enduring legacy, however, is far from being merely a scientific spectacle. It holds a significant place in the evolution of electronic devices and systems. The principles behind the Tesla coil found applications in radio technology, televisions, and a range of other electronics. The Tesla coil itself, however, did ultimately prove to be a bit of a gimmick. Tesla himself envisioned a world connected through wireless energy transmission with derivatives of his Tesla coil being at the center of it. And if you take a quick glance over your shoulder at the potentially dozens of plugs in your line of sight at this very second, you can see that his dream didn't quite work out. But rather than dwell on this, let us instead discuss those successful systems, the Tesla coil influence, starting with radios. If we do this, we see that although Marconi is correctly credited with the invention of the radio, it's important to note that Marconi's system used a significant number of Tesla's patterns, naturally including the Tesla coil. Tesla's pioneering work laid the groundwork for this game-changer communication medium, setting the stage for the mass communication revolution that would follow. Then there's the television. In that, we could see the high-frequency oscillator of early television sets was derived from the Tesla coil. Then we get to medicine, where, too, the Tesla coil, perhaps surprisingly, has also had an impact, primarily in electrotherapy and medical imaging. Even to this very day, variations of the Tesla coil are used in devices like MRI scanners, a testament to the enduring relevance of Tesla's work. The Tesla coil, then, much like its inventor, was ahead of its time. Sort of. Many would call it a failure, a little bit of gimmick, but its potential created a bridge to our present, and if that doesn't make it a success, then we don't know what would. Sadly, as our list of Tesla's incredible inventions go on, we're forced to delve deeper into the barrel and start looking at inventions that, while certainly incredible in their own right, ultimately failed to go on to have either the revolutionary impacts of alternating current or the secondary impact of the Tesla coil, starting with the magnifying transmitter. Its tale begins in the 1890s, after the invention of the Tesla coil. At this time, Tesla was still consumed by his ambition to transmit energy without wires across great distances. This led to the conceptualization and creation of the magnifying transmitter arguably his most ambitious project yet. The development of this device finally finished in the early 1900s when Tesla proudly unveiled his work at his laboratory in Colorado Springs and later at Wardenclyffe, New York. But what actually was it? Well, the magnifying transmitter essentially was a colossal extension of the original Tesla coil. It functioned on the same principles of resonance, but on a far larger scale and at a far higher power level. At the heart of this device were three key components, a primary coil, a secondary coil, and an extra coil. The primary and secondary coils together formed a transformer, like in a Tesla coil, which stepped up the voltage and reduced the current. So far, so normal. But it was the extra coil that was the true novelty and innovation of the magnifier transmitter. This extra coil was designed to resonate with the secondary coil, increasing the voltage far beyond that which could be achieved originally. At its full potential, the magnifying transmitter was envisioned to transmit many, many megawatts over considerable distances without wires. The intention being to eventually provide energy across a vast network to power homes, industries, and even propel transportation. But what of its legacy? Well, if nothing else, 
Tesla's magnifying transmitter stands as an embodiment of ambition far ahead of its time. He was ultimately unable to fully realize his dream of a global wireless power system due to financial constraints and a lack of contemporary technological support. But like many of Tesla's inventions, the ideas and principles behind the magnifying transmitter are more relevant now than ever before. For example, the magnifying transmitter, despite never becoming operational at the scale Tesla intended, has had profound implications on the progress of wireless communication technology. Its principles have been integral to the development of radio and television transmission technologies, wireless telegraphy, and even contributed to the evolution of radar technology during the World Wars. In the realm of energy transmission, the concept of wireless transmission envisioned by Tesla started to take shape in the form of modern wireless charging technologies for devices such as smartphones and electric vehicles. These technologies rely on principles of electromagnetic induction and resonance, echoing Tesla's foundational work. The magnifying transmitter has also spurred interest in the scientific exploration of Earth's natural resonant frequencies, a concept Tesla proposed as part of his global energy transmission system. Today, this idea has found applications in the field of Earth science for studying geophysical phenomena. Moreover, in the 21st century, as we face pressing challenges of energy sustainability and climate change, Tesla's vision of tapping into natural forces to generate and transmit wireless power across the globe seems more pertinent than ever. In conclusion, the magnifying transmitter is a monumental symbol of Tesla's forward-thinking approach and relentless pursuit of innovation. While the practical realization of this invention was limited in Tesla's time, its underlying principles continue to inspire and shape contemporary and emerging wireless technologies. So, in this part of the video, we find ourselves at an invention that appears somewhat out of place amidst the myriad of exclusively electrical creations that define Tesla's legacy. And that's the Tesla Turbine. A unique attempt to provide a new and very unconventional solution for both power generation and mechanical propulsion. It was one of Tesla's later inventions, not being conceived until the turn of the 20th century, when he saw a need for a more efficient machine to convert energy. The design process was a long one, however, and it would not be until 1913 when he would finally be awarded with a patent for the design. But, well, just what exactly was it? At its core, the Tesla turbine is a bladeless centripetal flow engine. Unlike the traditional bladed turbine, Tesla's design utilizes a set of smooth, closely packed disks. These disks, attached to a rotor, rotate in unison when steam, gas, or water enters the turbine inlet. Such a design in itself was not a completely new invention and had been done before. Tesla's innovation was his use of the boundary layer effect. As the fluid enters, it's set on a spiraling path, guided by the channels formed between the disks. The fluid's viscosity and adhesion causes it to drag along the disk's surfaces, causing the rotor to spin. As it spirals towards the center, the fluid imparts its energy to the disks, resulting in a highly efficient energy transfer from the fluid to the rotor. This allows it to operate smoothly and with fewer mechanical stresses, offering a potentially higher operational efficiency and longevity in service. Ultimately, the Tesla turbine was not widely adopted during Tesla's lifetime, but it has left a notable legacy that resonates with engineers and inventors to this day. It offers an elegant, mechanically simple solution to energy conversion with potential applications in a multitude of areas such as power generation to propulsion. In the former area, its simplicity and durability have made it a subject of interest in renewable energy applications, such as in hydro and geothermal power systems, where the turbine's high tolerances to particulate matter offer an advantage. And in the latter area, its high torque and low operating speed also make it potentially suitable for pump applications, such as water, oil, or other viscous liquids. Furthermore, various experimental air propulsion systems have also drawn inspiration from Tesla's bladeless design. Today, in the context of growing concerns about climate change and the increasing demand for sustainable and efficient energy solutions, the Tesla turbine's design concept offers a fertile ground for innovation and exploration. As engineers and scientists revisit and reimagine Tesla's designs with new materials and technologies, there is a resurgence of interest in this century-old invention. Who knows? Should the winds of fate blow favorably, this may yet become his most successful invention. When it comes to x-rays, Tesla is more of a contributor rather than an inventor, but we are hardly wise to let pedantry get in the way of interesting history on this channel, so don't mind us while we just move the goalposts for this chapter just a little bit. And now with those goalposts nicely moved, let's see what Tesla did for radiology. Many of Tesla's other inventions would later be refined or inspire innovations in the medical field, as we previously discussed. But when it comes to radiology, the benefit was not secondary, and he intended it quite specifically. 
His interest in x-rays began in 1894, when Tesla, driven by curiosity and an unyielding desire for discovery, turned his attention to an enigmatic phenomenon that was causing unexpected damage to his laboratory's photographic plates. That phenomenon, sure enough, was x-ray radiation. His curiosity peaked, he began searching for the source of the damage, and then soon found Crookes tubes to be the source. Wishing to know more about the phenomenon at hand, he soon developed his own unique unipolar vacuum tube, essentially a special X-ray bulb with a single electrode that emitted electrons. Unlike many other designs, there was no target electrode in Tesla's bulb. Instead, the electrons were accelerated by the peaks of the electrical field produced by a high-voltage Tesla coil inside. Recognizing the potential heat-related issues with the glass wall of his X-ray bulb, Tesla ingeniously designed a cooling system featuring a cold air blast along the tube and an oil bath encircling it. These inventive solutions were not merely testimonies to Tesla's mechanical brilliance, but also evidence of his deep understanding, for the time, of the complex scientific principles that governed the generation of X-rays. With his new bulb in hand, he continued his experiments and soon bore fruit when he produced what appears to be the first X-ray image in the United States. The experiment was initially intended to capture an image of Mark Twain. However, instead of Twain, the image actually presented a detailed depiction of the screw adjusting the camera lens. This was no doubt disappointing, but ultimately it was a successful proof of concept, so Tesla went on to create images of the human body, a technique he called shadow graphs. Recognizing the significance of his findings, he shared these with Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen, who had recently published his own research on x-rays. While Tesla humbly credited Röntgen for the discovery, Röntgen expressed admiration and curiosity about Tesla's sophisticated imaging technique. Not one to rest on his laurels, Tesla continued his deep dive into the mysterious world of x-rays. He experimented with reflected x-rays, describing the distinct characteristics of transmitted and reflected rays, and visualizing potential applications to enhance the quality of his shadow graphs. His keen observation and systematic experimentation led him to discover correlations between the changes in X-ray characteristics and variations in X-ray tubes and electrical generators. However, Tesla's path of discovery wasn't without its roadblocks. His New York laboratory, the hub of his innovative creations, was tragically destroyed by a fire in 1895 and much of his trailblazing work was lost in the blaze. Yet his resilient spirit remained undeterred, and so the legacy of his pioneering work in the invention of X-rays is forever embedded in history, corroborated by articles published in the Electrical Review and the knowledge he shared during his lecture at the New York Academy of Sciences in 1897. When he passed away in 1943, he left behind a legacy of innumerable contributions to the scientific world. His early and trailblazing work in the field of X-rays is a pivotal part of his legacy. Tesla's contribution to illuminating the unseen might not have earned him the Nobel Prize, but his profound explorations and insightful theories continue to shape the field today.